everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cora. Welcome to my library. I pulled, like, the biggest prank that a 11 slash 12 year old girl could possibly think of two years in a row. <laughs> the first time I did this, it was in fifth grade. I don't know why I thought this would be cool, but I told everyone that I had a twin sister named Susie who was really smart and went to a boarding school in Canada. They didn't believe me, obviously, because they had never heard me talk about Susie before, but I was like, no, no, like, she's real, and they're like, oh yeah, prove it, like, bring in a picture of her. I'm like, I can do better than that. I can bring in a picture of both of us. I kind of got myself in a uh, predicament there, but luckily, my oldest sister, Haley, was like a pro at um, video and photo editing, so she took a picture. She took two pictures, actually. She had one of me just as myself, just how I dress, and I sat on the couch on one side, and then she had me dressed up as Susie, how I told everyone she would dress because she's like a nerd or whatever. So I dressed up like her and I sat on the other side of the couch and then she combined the two pictures and it actually looked pretty real. For 2012, the Photoshop was really good. Almost everyone fell for it except for like two people and one of them was my best friend. She's like, yeah, Cora, I've been to your house before. Like, you don't have a twin. <laughs> I, I felt like a, a gangster for pulling that off. And then I did it again the next year in sixth grade. Um, I guess it was just April Fools and I decided to pull out the old picture again to mess with everybody at my new school. I showed everyone in my grade and once again like everyone fell for it. And that's actually how I met my other best friend. I met her because it was kind of a conversation starter. She came up to me and was like, hey, people are saying you have a twin sister, is that true? And I, I told her no, and we've been friends ever since. So if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't fooled all those people, then who knows, maybe I wouldn't have become friends with her, and that would have broken my heart, because I love her very much. I think to this day, everyone still believes that Susie is a real person, and that she's going to be coming home from Canada after she graduates. <laughs> I wanted to impress people that I had like a sm super smart twin or whatever when <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense because if I wanted to impress people why didn't I make myself the smart twin and my fake twin the dumb one? Like <laughs> what? I would have shown you guys the picture but you know this was years ago so I feel like I lost it but if I ever find it I will show you guys the picture <laughs> and it will all have a great laugh. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be uploading my second discussion for The Elfstones of Shannara this Saturday. There's a lot going on in that book and I hope I can fit it all in a, like a under 10 minute video because YouTube for some reason has trouble uploading videos that are over 15 minutes long. I don't know why it didn't used to have that issue but now it does. So I'm trying to keep my videos under that limit. Personally I can't watch super long videos like I just get like you know bored and zone out and stuff but I mean if you guys want to watch a video that's 15 minutes or over, go right ahead. I hope you guys had a great day, and I will see you guys Saturday. Bye!